About 1,500 residents, including women and children from 500 households, have been displaced with several public and private properties submerged by flood waters in Bwipi in the central Gunja district of the Savannah region. The central Gunja office of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, adds 239 and 230 adult males and females, including 300 and 48 and 427 boys and girls have also been forced out of their homes. Nadmo says three public and countless numbers of private toilets are submerged, posing possible health challenges. The food staff at homes, 50 acres of farms, and three private schools have also been overpowered by the flat waters. Isaac Nonya is our correspondent in that area. He's joined us uh, with more. Isaac, uh, what's the situation as we speak? Hello, Isaac. Currently, yes. At the moment, the entire area is flooded, and the many of those who are affected have been asked to move to a higher height. I will speak, not more was able to move. And with the sort of Red Garret Red Society, who have moved up there to be able to relocate with their family. We also have the sanitary situation in the area where a good number of public and private toilets have been submerged. And then if water that they are managing over there, which is from the, directly from the Black Volta, is also flooded with feces and what of you. So those even along the riverbanks who are mostly farmers can no longer uh, able to trace their cross. And now remember this is the, the harvesting season. You can talk about the two best ground lot and what have you. So those, the few who were able to manage the district capital are those that are being housed around the RA primary school. And then the, the rest who are still there trying to harvest their ground lot are those that are most trying to trace and to bring that out from their localities. So what what is the, uh, the uh, regional minister and the... Uh, district security executive telling you? Yes, as we speak, the DASEC is in the meeting. We are told the regional minister, he spoke to me this morning, saying that he, together with the partners, have advised all residents in the localities to move to the designated areas that the NADMO has located for them while they work to get the situation resolved. He also uh, pointed out that the issue about Bui Dam and the uh, Black Volta, they are going to address it holistically going forward so that they will not experience this thing this time. Remember the Bui Dam runs through, shares the Black Volta, while the Kosovo Dam also shares that of the White, the white Volta around Yape and then this one at So the residents are saying that if the water is coming this way, means it's not from rain, it's not rain from rainfall, but rather from the, directly from the Bui Dam. We also have Nadmo also thinking that if Bui Dam has come forward like they suggested from the beginning, they would have sat down and educated people stay along the river banks so that they will move to higher height before they will spill the dam. But that was not done. And I think that is causing the situation I will see. Mm. This year's spillage has affected more communities compared to last year. We know that last year four communities were affected, but this year uh, it's gone up to seven. What could be accounting for this? It is that the, no, the, the few rainfall that experienced this year has also contributed to the water that was spilled from the weed dam. Well, if you listen to Nanmo, Isaac Nonya is our correspondent, um, bringing us updates on that a story from the Gunja district. He says that the spillage of the Bui Dam has affected seven communities and 1,500 residents have been displaced. We'll get him in our subsequent bulletins to tell us more about what has happened to those uh, residents in those communities and what release NATMO has been able to give to those people. Let's take a look.